All right, so I'm out of training right now, so I'm not anywhere near home. And I figured that now would be a good time to make one of these interesting videos. Now, <clears throat> I've been doing some grading, and I've been doing some grading for friends at work. <sighs> I got this big binder of Pokemon cards, and I think it's going to be rather interesting. Now, if you notice this energy right here, it doesn't seem like much normal fighting energy. If you look at the dates, though, 90, my finger's going to mess that up. 95, 96, 98, and 99... 99 wizards. This is a shadowless energy. This too is a shadowless card. There's a shadowless trainer. Now we get into the cool ones. There's a there's a decent lot of these. Now these cards aren't necessarily in the greatest condition. We got shadowless nine tails. Shadowless Machamp, which grant being first edition is not a big surprise, but considering all Machamp's first edition. Um, that's a legitimate first edition or oh, We have we'll see I'll show you more later uh, Shadowless Magmar Shadowless Ivysaur Shadowless War Turtle Ghastly it's again first edition, so it's gonna be shadowless Nidorino Charmander Vulpix, Dratini, another Charmander, I think we have two Onyxes in here, another first edition Ghastly, another Onyx, but you can tell that like this card is beat up, like this one's really beat up, Kadabra, again, got the nice rip right here, Poliwag, Rattata, Machoke, I'm trying to do this through my phone. <laughs> Doug Trio, which this night card almost looks fake with the being shadowless and the different colors and the text and everything. Just all together, for some reason, this card stands out to me more than any other. <laughs> this, it's funny. I'm not sure if you can see it in person. Now, granted, it's the first edition, but it looks like a steel type. <laughs> like the, the normal color background is so dark, it looks like a steel type. Another Charmander. Squirtle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another Squirtle, <clears throat> Charmeleon. For some reason, this guy has a lot of uh, Charmanders. Okay, and Bulbasaur. Now, Bulbasaur is interesting. I mean, this one's Japanese, but you can see the difference in color. It's a little, but the Japanese one's a little darker. But nonetheless, it's it's interesting because you can tell that they look different. I was looking through this stack. I'm not going to go through them. They're all like, just, you got commons, you got uncommons. None of them are shadowless cards. I was looking through the cat crabbies to see if there's any kind of a, the scratch error. There's not. Uh, something that's kind of interesting I'll spend a little time on. These Japanese cards. Cyndaquil. Yes, this is just a big mess. Bulbasaur. Psyduck. Kabuto, <clears throat> Zubat, Krabby, Girafferig, Oddish. I'm gonna mess up the trainer, so I'm gonna try. You got this trainer. It's one of the energy ones, but you know, this tower one. Another one of those energy fellers. Now, that's just neat, because like, when I was a kid, I never had access to Japanese cards. Now, we're going to get into the interesting stuff. I'm going to show you the worst binder first, just because it's interesting, because keep in mind, these are the way I got them. But these have been in here so long that the sheets have rust in them. And as we all know, ring binders are not the best for keeping your cards in good shape. But we got Kangas gone. Right, you and Electrode. Nine Tails. See how this first edition um, my Champ has that it is it's a normal one. We all know that the my Champs are not the the first editions aren't just necessarily first edition. They're printed like that in some kind of error. 
But there's, there, I'm going through because there's some really neat cards. I mean, like, I remember this Mew promo. Okay. I'm not going to go slowly through them all, but I'll like just kind of scan over. Because there is a lot of, I remember opening these cards as a kid, you know what I mean? I was looking to see for some errors, like the Diglett's uh, Dig 90 degree um, fighting energy shift. I didn't see any in here, but that being said, there are lots of cards in here that uh, have like multiples in here or evolution lines, stuff like that. But. I'm not, like I said, I'm just going kind of going quick through this one because we have more to show. I was looking for the um, errors, the War Turtle evolving the War Turtle errors. I was trying to find any errors that could be in here. Okay, so we got Gia Dude. I'm kind of taking a sneak peek while we're going through this, seeing if any of these ones are what would be considered shadowless. Even if technically there was no shadowless in these kind. The new the reprints don't have shadow. Alright. So that's the bonus. Kind of the least impressive. This one, this binder is neat. Blastoise, Venusaur, Vaporeon, Polyrath, Raichu. I took this card out. Um, that was, I believe that was one of the shadow lists. Magneton, base set two. This Zapdos actually looks real nice for what's in these binders. Dark Charizard. Hypno. Gengar. That scratch stands out even on here. I mean, these are, these are old. Like, uh, the guy that originally made me, like, the way he said it, it's like, oh, no, that's a different guy. This guy just gave me these to look through. All right, so Flareon. Pidgeot. It's always been my favorite card. Like, since I first got into Pokemon cards, Pidgeot's always been my favorite. I love the way it looks in this pigeoning. We saw the artwork on here. I think it just looks fantastic. Jolteon. Chansey. Dragonite. Wigglytuff. Dark Arbok. And Neo Queen, Dark Alakazam. Got a Giovanni's Neo King Hollow. Someone like it's hard to tell that's a hollow from in here, but I can adjust and see the lighting. And some of them I can't tell, like this Moltres. I couldn't tell if it was hollow or not. But then like it goes through here and it's so mixed up. Like got Articuno. You got Nine Tails Hollow. You got a Japanese Ursa Ring. Yes, Ursa Ring. Nice, like I said, yeah, it's just it's it's a really neat collection. That being said, not in the best shape, but I guess get out here. Part, this this ditto doesn't look anywhere near that bad for the way these binders look. Now we need cleaned up, but let's see. I'll try and clean some of that off, but like you think some of these would be worse than they are. You got this Black Star Dark Persian promo. You guys see another one here in a sec too. Spring E3 promo, which I've never seen. This is the first one I've ever seen in person, which is really kind of amazing it's when you look at it. Like, there's a manky under it, there's another manky. The cards just stacked on top of cards, but. Got whitening at the top, and whitening all around. Ooh, that crease would destroy its value right there. It's a great card. Oh my, 
I didn't even see it until just now because I haven't pulled it out till just now. But it's still neat because again, I've never seen an E3 card. An E3 Pikachu. I'm gonna try and go a little quicker through the commons and uncommons. See if we can get two rows at once. Butterfree. I always love that Butterfree card too. I know Butterfree is not like the world's most popular character, but still. So have some really interesting stuff coming ahead. Some of these cards I see and I'm like, man, I can't believe it. that was a uh, uncommon. Some I thought were rares. There's two fairly new cards in here. Oh, I haven't been a play I've been sitting around for a while. Yeah, you ain't getting no cards from uh, 2020 <laughs> by not being in Pokemon for a while. Loose binder pages, okay? Alright, this is where there's a lot of interesting. Okay. Maybe we got this fossil hollow ditto. Which again, not in the best shape. So you got a lot of Japanese cards in here. Let's see if I can zoom this out. Okay, Let's see if we can do that. Let's get the page. So you got the Kabutops hollow here. Mine should be almost on a PSA. That gravel looks like perfect condition from what I can see. I bet if I pull it out, I'm gonna eat those words. What do you guys think? If I was a betting man, I absolutely would say it'll be him. Uh, looks like somebody just covered the edge in white out, huh? Machamps. We got three of them. Everybody thinks they got the popular rare rarest card. We got three of them sitting right here. Got first edition Lieutenant Series Pikachu. That's neat. There's some there's first edition hidden through here. <coughs> Torp, second edition uh, our base set two, Gyarados. Kang is gone. Zapdos. Got this Mag Mortar, Fossil Gengar. For Alligator, for the Tore Up Corner. Which, which one's that from? 2007 Champions, Napoleon, Meganium, which I think is underrated. Sorry, I was looking at something. Sometimes looking at these cards gives me a big bite of nostalgia from you know, growing up and pulling them. Like Golem. Uh, Golem was a fantastic card growing up. 
And here's a good one. So we're gonna find them real quick. You see a different one. It's kind of hard to tell, but this Nudorino, the background's a little bit lighter. The color's a little less um, poppy to me. Going from the shadowless to the shadowed. Reverse Abra, <clears throat> Hollow Kangaskhan, Pikachu from the movie, uh, Dragon. Frontiers, which I'm not sure about those cards, the what they pre release. The Reverse Hollow Rapidash looks pretty decent. I gotta go through all these Haunter. I gotta through, go through these and see if any of them are worth sending in to get graded from my buddy here. Uh, Mewtwo promo. Beat the help. <laughs> Mewtwo. Again, Japanese cards mixed in. Kind of nice to see the English and the Japanese versions next to each other. Oh, some hollow Oshwat. I don't know what set that's from. Part of that research I gotta do yet. First edition. I think it's just pages that are just randomly first edition in here. This threw me off electric totodile. That threw me off pretty bad when I first saw him. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> My kid had explained to me that whatever set that was changed typings. I know this isn't the most interesting video, but I thought that some of these cards and nostalgia, even though they're not in the best shape, book one of the movie Electabuzz. Got Gastrodon Hollow, Raichu Hollow, Fiero Crystal Guardians um, pre release. Another Poliwhirl. That Poliwhirl looks a lot better than the other one. Kangaskhan. Kangas here, now it's gone. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, got, I got a lot of research to do. I was going to research on my. Uh, Surface Pro, but um, I was trying to link up to the hotel's internet, and since its operating system is super old, Jungle of Owl Plume, Neo King, Pincer, No Scratch Error, or whatever they call it. Very nice cards, not nice looking cards, but the cards themselves are awfully nice. My Larvitar, Sableye, Lapras. Man, Aerodactyl with a nice print line right on top. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. I'll try. I'm not thinking you're going to see it. Still, man. Now I'm probably, I think these are all pre released. I could be 100% wrong, and that's fine, because at the end of the day, we are going to do <laughs> not watch the video. Okay. I appreciate those of you that do watch it, but I'm not going to sit here and try and force people or beg people to watch, you know what I mean? This is interesting. I right, gotta look and see what this is right here. Oh my. Oh my. You think we send that one in and get graded? <laughs> it probably wouldn't even fit in a sleeve. Anyway, that fossil one actually looks pretty nice. Yep. 
I spoke too soon. Big surprise, I spoke too soon on that. Look at that nice Legend Maker Mew. So I'm showing you it, that's very nice. Keep in mind, I do apologize, it's a little dark in here because I only have the lamp here. Taking a quick peek amongst these. Fossil, fossil, fossil. I don't know what set this is from, but that's a cool looking energy. I'd assume that there'd be more quote unquote shadowless cards in there. But there's not. Like trainers and stuff, you know? Throw a bunch of them all at once. Imposter Professor Oak, which looks in really good shape. Scoop up. I wonder, wonder what these kind of. I need to look up these rare, uh, rare trainers. I bet they, I bet they go for a decent penny. Just because they're so old. And I love this guy, so. Alright, again, I see some more rare trainers. Not as old, but. And then the random. <laughs> random paint of Yu Gi Oh cards. So I gotta do some research on. I'm assuming they're not terribly old. And so I just noticed there's two in here. We're going to look them up, but anyway, like I said, I just wanted to kind of break into this a little bit, because I thought it was a really neat variety pack. I mean, you don't always get a chance to see this many old Pokemon cards at one time in one place. So, like, even though it's they're not in the best shape, I'm going to go through it, because even if there's only one that's worth sending in to get graded from a buddy, he can easily make some money. I do have... Um, I do have another guy who just dropped off. It's supposed to be in mint condition. Strava pack straight put away. It's supposed to be a base set. He has a base set on the Charizard. When I get home from this training, I will be picking it up and I will be inspecting it. But no matter what, he's it's getting sent and get graded. He says that he would not spend money if it was not pack fresh. Looks great. I told him it's going to be hard to get a uh, good grade on an old card like that because they um, control almost like holding, not grading tens for old vintage cards unless it's like a perfect card. So I'm more than happy to give it a shot and give it a go. But I just wanted to go through this and show you some of these neat cards, especially Shadowless. Like, like look at that Onyx. Like it, it almost looks fake because of the. Old style printing. <laughs> but I did think that this nine tails looks nice. I mean it's not a perfect card by any means, but that shadowless does look nice. And anyway, with that I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.